Hello everybody, my name is Caleb Crone, and welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be shooting the Cave Nebula, but wait, I actually shot it last night, but tonight we're going to be adding way more time to it. So last time, or last night, I got uh, about three hours on it, um, well actually it was 2.5 because I had to delete some, uh, some frames, but uh, it became to be 2.5 hours, but tonight I'm going to try to get at least three to four. Uh, I'm gonna put it all together and have a hopefully have a decent image of the cave. I've never shot this before, so it was really cool seeing the subs pop up on the screen. But um, I already got everything set up back there, so uh, it's gonna be polar alignment time in like an hour or two. So or at least an hour. So um, we'll get to that. So I've actually seen uh, Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard, he shot this and um, it really made me want to shoot it um, because it's freaking awesome. I mean it's a cave, it looks like a cave. I actually never saw the cave until yesterday, I was like, how do, I don't know why, why do they call it the cave nebula and then I saw like a different version of it and um, I, can, I can see it. So you got the arch, which is like the bright core, I guess you can say. And then you got like the dark, like black dust. And I'm like, okay, that looks like a cave. And I'm like, okay, I have to like shoot this now. It looks freaking cool. So um, I'm excited to shoot that. Last night I shot it. I was pleased with the subs. So we're going to add more time tonight. This is my first like project. So we're going to get into that. Pretty exciting times. And it's, it's only a two night because the skies aren't going to be that clear for the next few days. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to I'm just gonna do this one more time. I'm going to give this uh, Cave Nebula some, some good data. So um, it's pretty exciting. It's getting dark. We're going to pull our line soon. And we're going to slew the Cave Nebula again. So if you guys are new to the channel um, and you're wondering what the heck this is, or you're an astrophotographer and you're just stumble across my channel, my name is Kill Corone, and I'm from Ontario, Canada, and uh, I do astrophotography. So what that is, is I take pictures of space. And how do I do that? Well, that's a plane. Anyway, so how do I do that? I rely on tracking mounts. Uh, this one. So in this case, this is an EQ mount or a German equatorial mount. Can't speak. But uh, this. This one uh, tracks the night sky really nicely. Um, but first, you have to polar line the mount, which is you aim the mount at Polaris. This is for the northern hemisphere. You point at the Polaris. You either use, you either get down on your knees and look at the scope, or you can use the QHY uh, Pole Master, which is connected to the PC, and you can see a live view of Polaris and other stars that are around it, and it gets you perfect polar alignment. Uh, this has saved my whole life. It's amazing. But that's what I do. I take photos of space and I rely on equatorial mounts to uh, to freeze my object in space so I can do long exposures up to five minutes. At least for me, up to five minutes for now. Uh, to get five minutes, I use a guide camera or a guide scope which locks on to a star. In this case, I have multi-guide, multi-star guiding. So it locks on to multiple stars and it makes it sends pulses to my mount to and it nudges to keep tracking precise. So without further ado, we're gonna get started soon, and uh, I'll show you guys the nebula and the subs. Um, should be awesome. Pretty excited. Night number two. So a lot of you guys inspired me to shoot this, uh, such as like Trevor from Astro Backyard. Also Astro Bloke, Glenn. I saw your uh, cave nebula on Twitter today and I loved it and I was like I am excited to shoot this yours look awesome I am it's just it's exciting to shoot something new 
and you guys inspired me to shoot that. So, so it's getting dark. I just wanted to get dark ready so I can start and uh, start processing tomorrow. But um, I had a lot of questions on Twitter. There's a lot of mosquitoes. I had a lot of questions on Twitter about when I should take my flats. When darks not so much. I know the darks. Darks in the last like a month or so with a with a CMOS or CCD camera. So um, I had questions on Twitter on when I should take my flats. So here's what I did last night. So I took my lights and then I took everything apart. Uh, I took the can I took the uh, all the wires out and I just brought everything in. But I didn't take any flats. Um, so I was really tired, it was like 4am, I just wanted to go to bed, so I didn't take any or any flats. So I took them today, when I woke up. Um, I'm sure it's fine, because I, I do that with a lot of photos. But that's what I did, I took flats today when I woke up, and then, um, so I was thinking tonight, I was going to take flats after my lights, right, like right after. So I might just do that, and take my darks the next day, the rest of the darks tomorrow, which is completely fine. But uh, I, I saw a lot of people tell me how to do it, and um, it's it's pretty cool seeing what you guys do differently. It's pretty awesome. But that's what I do. I usually take everything apart and take my flats and darks next day. But um, hopefully that it won't screw anything up. So we'll see. Okay, so it is nighttime. It is polar lime at time. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm pointed north. Pretty good. So right now we're going to connect the camera and we are going to start cooling it I'm gonna do that while I do polar alignment and all that so we're gonna do that we're gonna click that that is going to cool we're gonna open up pole master and we are going to polar line and I'll uh, I'll get back to you guys after I'm done polar lining Alright guys, it is 11 p.m. almost. Um, here's a sub on the cave nebula with the LX stream filter. You can see the cave in there, it's awesome. Um, guiding is kind of weird today. I, I was getting a 0 0.7. I don't know what happened, but that happened. I think I moved a wire, but... I think everything should be fine after, because I was getting like a 0 0.7, but I was just playing around with my, pr my aggression. But this is first up. It looks really good. I'm looking forward to it.